all human behavior are based on either gaining pleasure or avoiding pain. I'm going to ask you, which one are you right now? Are you making decisions out of fear or are you making decisions out of love? Small talk, small conversations with huge impact. My name is Alec Cuenca and I'm your host for today. But before we start, I hope that you are safe in your home. If you are a front, one of our frontliners, if you're working for the government, if you are risking yourself out there, and if you're even at your home, and if you just be in your home and you're sacrificing and you're putting all your efforts to help us flatten the curve or help us in this crisis, I just want to let you know that you are in my prayers. And I am thanking you so much for your sacrifice and your efforts to help each and everyone that is around you. And I just want to say that if you haven't yet subscribed or followed the podcast, make sure that you do. You do not want to miss another episode of the podcast. Also, I'd like to give a huge thanks to the people who are sharing the podcast on their IG stories. You guys are the main reason why our podcast keeps on growing and growing and keeps on climbing the charts on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. I think we've reached uh, rank number eight on um, the self-improvement charts on Apple Podcasts. So that's the highest I've ever been. So that's all thanks to you guys that have been sharing your experiences, your thoughts, your insights on your IG story. So again, thank you. Thank you so much for everything that you are doing. Okay, now let's head on to our topic for today. Today, we are going to talk about how you may be adding unnecessary stress into your life. The COVID-19 crisis is a testing time and everyone is experiencing stress and anxiety. However, I've noticed that some people are actually experiencing stress twice more than others. And these people are experiencing a higher amount of stress not because they have less food or less water or less necessities or less resources, but because of how their mindset is in approaching the challenges this crisis brings and dealing with it altogether. So three days ago, I was tasked to buy some marinated raw chicken from Jollibee. Right, So it was a few blocks away from here. So I went there and the store had a policy that only eight customers were allowed to be inside the store. So when I got there, there was already a line outside. So I waited at the back of the line. I waited around 15 minutes until I was the next one to enter the store. So I was, I was next in line to enter the store, right? And then there was this woman behind me. And she was stressing out of how hot, how stressful the line was, how tiring the line was, how slowly people are um, working on the inside. She was complaining, right? So we were just there. We were waiting. And then there was this pregnant woman who came into the front of the line. And then once uh, a customer went out, she was given priority. Then she got in. And then I understood that because, you know, we give priority to pregnant women, elder women, and people with disabilities, right? So I I didn't mind at all. So, okay, I thought I'll just wait for the next one, right? So the other person come out. And then there was this elder woman who came in front of the line. And then she was given priority as well. And I didn't mind. I didn't mind. I I was like, okay, that's the policy, right? We got to follow the rules. But this woman behind me, she was so stressed. She was freaking out and, and, and she shouted at the, at the security guard. He said, Hey, Tagalog muna ha. Sabi niya, Hoy kuya, bakit mo sila pinapapasok? Dapat yung nang, mga nakapila dito kasi kanina pa kami nandito. And then kuya said na, Ma'am, policy po natin yan. Ganito po talaga yung patakaran dito. Sabi niya, ako wala akong pakaya. Nasa crisis tayo ngayon. Dapat hindi ganyan ang patakaran nyo. Pag ako kuya, wala akong nabiling na chicken. Ikaw malilintikan sa akin. Sabi niya, she was stressing out. She was furious, man. And then, siya, sabi niya pa, pag yung mga anak ko wala nakain na chicken joy talaga, ay, nakukuya, she said. And then, 
I, I looked at her. I was like, okay, maybe she was just having a bad day, right? So I just brushed it off. Okay, whatever. So shortly after, tinawag na ako. I went in. And just a few seconds afterwards, she went in as well. Nasa katabi ko siyang counter. Then we placed our orders. We waited for our orders. We got our orders. And then we went home to our respective houses, right? Now, let me ask you a question. Who do you think had a more stressful experience between me and the woman behind me? Of course, the woman behind me had a more stressful experience. And when I got home, I kept on thinking, I kept on reflecting that why did she had to be like that? Why is she like that? Why is she acting like that? She had a more stressful time than me. But why? And this is because she was acting based on fear. She was acting based on the fear that her children might not get chicken joy. She was acting based on the fear that she might not get the chicken that she wanted. And and from there I thought, okay, and and then I realized that people in this time, especially in this time, people act in two different approaches. Number one, they act based on fear. And the other one, they act based on love. All human behavior are based on either gaining pleasure or avoiding pain. That's the two approaches that everyone is either on one, right? So I'm going to ask you, which one are you right now? Are you making decisions out of fear or are you making decisions out of love? Because I was, as I was reflecting, you know, we got our chickens, we got our orders, we both got what we wanted, the chicken. But who had a more stressful time during that experience? I'm sure it wasn't me. No, I wasn't stressing out and freaking out at the line. But that woman was because she was acting based on fear. Right? We both got our chickens. We both got what we wanted. But she had a lot more stressful experience than I did. And again, this comes from the fact that people right now are acting either based on love or based on fear. And we need to understand that if we want to alleviate the stress that we are experiencing right now, because to be honest, this crisis has brought us to the point that everyone is literally stressing. Everyone, everyone that you know is stressed about this situation. If they're not stressed, they're either apathetic or, you know, they just don't have any clue what's going on. But it's totally normal for everyone to have a certain amount of stress and anxiety. And we need to look for ways that we can alleviate the stress, not add more stress. And if we are going to keep on making decisions, making thoughts, and saying things out of fear, based on our fears, then we will add unnecessary stress into our lives. Right? It's like you're in a car and you want to go to a place. Right? You can either go forward, go to that place forward, or in reverse. Right? You can drive to that place you know using the the normal way or you can do it in reverse and which one is more stressful it's doing in reverse regardless if you're you know you're a great reverse driver it's a lot more stressful if you could just drive your way straight ahead or you could drive it on reverse drive it using reverse which one would you choose right it's just driving straight ahead because at this moment we need to understand that we need to make decisions that can help us reduce the stress that we are experiencing. And the things that we can do, the things that we are experiencing right now, can be more meaningful if we do everything out of love. For example, if you're going to the supermarket, right? You either have that urge to go to the supermarket because either you 
think that your family will be hungry if you don't. Or you could have that urge to go to the supermarket and buy stocks because you know that your family needs to be healthy. Both will have groceries, but the other one is focusing on the negative side, which is acting based on fear, and the other one is acting based out of love. Both, both, both approach can get groceries and get home safely, but the other one, the one that is focused on the negative side of things, who is subconsciously thinking about avoiding the pain or avoiding the struggles, the challenges, or focusing on the pain, focusing on the fears, will have a more stressful experience. And this doesn't just apply in this time. You can also apply it when you know, you, when we when in in our, in our normal days, right? So if, for example, people, uh, I I see some parents tell their children that you need to study. If you don't study, then you will become you will become jobless. You will work at a place that you don't want to work, and that's creating fear. That's creating, that's focusing on the negative side of things. Or in the other hand, I've seen par- I've seen parents tell their children that you need to study so that you could choose wherever you want to go in the future because knowledge is important and that's focusing out of love focusing on gaining pleasure on gaining on the positive side of things if you will ask me this is the only way that we can be positive positive about about things not trying to flip every situation and make it into a positive one but trying to focus on the good stuff not hindi sa hindi sa binabali wala mo na yung mga bad shit na nangyayari it's actually accepting what is happening into your lives everyone is stressing right now and it's really important how you react and your reaction your perception on different situations that you are in right now will greatly affect your stress levels and your anxiety levels so if i were you i would take a step back and look at the situations or the decisions that you have to make during this time and make sure that you are making decisions, that you are doing things, that you are thinking, saying, and doing things out of love. Because if we make decisions out of love, then we make the experience of the struggles and the challenges that this crisis bring more meaningful. So if you're going to take one lesson from this episode is that you should be you should start making decisions and acting based on based on love. We will most of us, especially the listeners right here right, especially you guys that are listening right now, most of us probably all of us will get through this time but not everyone has the same levels a lot of you will be stressing yourself more than you should have because you are focusing on the negative side of things you are fo- focusing on how you could avoid pain you are focusing on how you are focusing on your fears you got to stop doing that instead focus on the decisions made out of love to focus on the decisions in gaining what you actually want that's the positive outlook that you need to adapt during this crisis and that's all i have for you today i hope that you've learned something today if you have learned something today please share this episode on your ig stories to make sure that i see you guys that you are listening Alam ko marami sa inyo ay, are silent listeners. But please, if you're listening right now, go share it on your IG stories para naman meron tayong communication during this crisis. And you know, para naman magkaroon tayo ng kahit pa paano social life natin, di ba? So that's all. Again, thank you so much for listening. Please leave a rating and review if you like this episode, if you like the podcast, if any of the things that I've said have resonated with you, please Tag me on your IG stories and I will answer them and I will repost them, all of them, immediately. 
Again, thank you, thank you so much. I hope that you are safe. Talk to you guys next episode. Peace.